We were told we can either make a left here and check into the campground or go straight through and go straight to our site and then check in. So obviously we chose to go straight to our site. Now you could get to the sites number 1 through 23 if you take this path. The other sites you have to make a left to get to those sites. Now Jetty Park campground is part of Jetty Park, the actual park. So 1 through 23, although they are part of the campground and you do have to pass a guard gate to get to it, it is also a public area. So the park does close at 10 p.m. for all guests who are not camping at the campground. And as you can see here, right over here to the right is the access to the beach. And as we keep on going on the left here, you'll see the cabins and some of the RVs. There are several gates to get to that part of the campground and they do give you a code so you can go in and out as you please. Behind the gate is also where the showers are located for all campers. Now we just kept going straight along here because as you know we are going to our campsite. We are staying at site 23 which is on the water on the jetty. We will show you in the video in a little bit. To the right is a pier where you can go fishing. You do not need a license from what they said to fish off the pier, but if you choose to fish off of the jetty itself, those rocks right there, you do need a Florida fishing license for that. And to the left is the public area, that grassy area, as well as on the right, you'll see people park throughout the day and they go fishing there. Right here on the left, you'll see it starts with site number 12. And as you are driving in this direction, 12 was the first one, all the way to 23, which will be the last one, which is the spot where we are staying. They do have generator hours and quiet times in this part of the campground only because there is only water hookup. It's pretty much dry camping, so no electric and no sewer at any of these sites, and that is 1 through 23. But look at the view that you absolutely get. Beautiful. Welcome back everyone, and today we are at Jetty Park Campground, and it is located, if you didn't guess already, Port Canaveral, Port Florida. Canaveral at the Jetty. So yeah. we plan on showing you guys around this campground, Right now we are at a site with only water, but look at the view that we have, and today is an overcast day. So right there you will see Port Canaveral. Scott will point out the Disney dream in just a minute. And straight across from us is Kennedy Space Center. Right here, right there is the Disney dream. So just a little tip, this building right here that you see is not the check-in. The check-in is on the other side of the fence. So here's a little tip for you guys. If you get the okay to park your RV first, make sure you call and get the access code to get in the gate. Now this is where we actually checked in. Oh, look it. They have all kinds of goodies. Eleven ninety nine for the Panama Jack. They got boogie boards, sand toys, little nuts, firewood, propane cylinders, six thirty. So if you forget something, you could get it here. I'll show you a quick overview. Sun hats, shirts, twenty five bucks. Pretty neat. Jetty Park mugs. Seven dollars. Oh, I like this. I like this style. 
Teddy Park pins. Four dollars. Ooh, and shirts. Port Canaveral. Oh, that's just Port Canaveral. I like that. I like the fact that they have pins and things that say Jetty Park. Yeah, I like this. Look at this. An ashtray that I would never want to put ashes in. Six dollars. It's really not overpriced. Good price. Oh, RV supplies. They got RV supplies too. Yes, he said there's free coffee. As long as the store is open, they got free coffee for everyone. And they have a movie area and a seating area. See the movies over there you can watch. Oh look, they got eggs, butter. Most importantly. And they got <laughs> Mountain Dew. And there are the prices. I'll zoom in and you can hit pause if you're interested in that. Sanitation area. Little bags of charcoal. And regular hardware. What do you say we go check out the rest of this campground? Awesome. Did you show them the movie theater? Yep, I did. Yeah. Pretty nice. Nice place. little seating area. Right, out. There were people sitting over there, so we didn't want to video them, but. Yeah, I know they sell bait too. Oh, the dump stations are free. For if you're camping if here. You're camping here. So that's nice if you don't have hookups. Pretty, you know, pretty separate, you know what I mean? Well, let's go check it out. All right, so we wanted to show you guys the dump station real quick. Nothing special about it. And there are two sides to this dump station, as you can see. So two people could be using it at the same time. And if you're wondering where this is, there is where you check in. So if you check in, you'll automatically see where the dump station is. Also in this area is a dumpster for those campers who are within the gated area, which is this area right here. All right, so this is the campground map. So as you can see, we are staying in Site 23, and right here is the jetty. It's got a pretty good legend right here. The blue sites have concrete, the orange are just cabins. And then right here, if you want to hit pause and take a look to see what you would be interested in, you can go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to go ahead and slowly go over the map for you. Okay, so although it does say it in the legend, if you see the green line that is outlining the perimeter of the majority of the campgrounds on the right-hand side, that is all fenced in. So in order to access the beach, you have to go through a gate right there, a little black circle with a line. That's another gate that you have to go through. In order to get back in, of course, you're going to need that code which they give you at check-in. All right, so although the campground is pet friendly, if you notice, the public beach, you can't take your pets out there. You cannot take them over by the picnic area and playground, nor can you take them. This is the public area right here of the Jetty Park. So just so you can gauge how far the garbage is from our site, we're going to go ahead and walk and show you guys how far of a walk it is, which is not far at all because they do not have 
trash pickup at the sites. You have to take them to the dumpster yourself. Oh, look, there's a Mountain Dew. <laughs> now the walk to go take the trash over to where it needs to be is only a two to three minute walk. So not bad at all. Right over there we said was the Port Canaveral. And on the other side of that green fence is the public boat launch. So you are able to bring your boat to the campground. We will show you where you can park your boat. And they said there is no charge to use that boat launch. Because although it is a public boat launch, people do have to pay to get into Jetty Park. And we'll definitely share the boat ramp in the next Jetty Park video. So right over here you'll see pavilions that are part of the actual park. You're more than welcome to use them. I do believe that they rent them out on occasion. But they have plenty of, as you can see, pavilions. They have grills over there. So as we're walking along here, on the left-hand side, you will definitely see sites number 1 through 11. Now they are also inlet sites, but as you can tell, they are the second row back from the inlet. Still very nice sites, but if you want to get that inlet view, you definitely want sites number 12 through 23, 1 through 11 also only have water, just so you know. And although there are no showers, there are restrooms here next to this trash area, as well as that playground, which we saw kids playing there and enjoying themselves most of the day. And even into the evening, there were kids playing there. Very nice playground. All right, now we're going to just walk over to the beach and show you how far that is in real time. So on the other side of that fence, they give you a code to get in to the campground area. And as you will see, it was only about a four to five minute walk, maybe a little bit faster if you wanted to walk faster. There's the gate that I was talking about right there with some of the RV sites right on the other side of that gate. And there are more picnic tables. Now the sites on the right here have full hookup. We will go inside of the gate and show you guys around some of the sites, but just so you could see that there are sites available with full hookup. So if you look across the street here, we will go inside of that store. We honestly had so much footage from this very short trip that I'm gonna have to make two videos showing you the public area including this little spot right here they have food they have souvenirs they have bait 
and we will definitely share that with you guys. We just didn't want to make this video too long because there is just really so much to show. So you have two options to get to the beach here. You can make a left and go around the pier side and get to the beach that way, or you can make a right and go to the beach this way. And right here on the left, where the lady is standing, is a restroom as well as a changing area. So if you wanted to change into or out of your swimsuit, that is the place to do it. And some of you may be pleased to know that there is a lifeguard on duty, although on this day it was very windy, so they did have the red flag up. So that way is to that store that we just showed you with the food and the retail merchandise. And over here, you could take this little path over to the pier. All right, so that way is the pier. So this was a anchor. It's a Royal Caribbean anchor. That is a big anchor. Okay, so I was just told that you are allowed to bring golf carts and boats here at the Jetty Park Campground. And you just park it here in this grassy area, which is secure because it is behind the little fences right there. And okay. he said, yep, the little gate. And he said that there is no charge for you to keep it here as long as you're camping and there is no extra fee to go over there to the boat ramp. So no extra fee to go to the boat ramp. You can keep your boat here, as you can see somebody is keeping it here, as long as you're yeah, camping. Toe dollies. Yeah, tow dollies. Nice. I like it. That's pretty nice. Another nice thing at this campground is they have a doggy walk area. Looks like it's pretty nice. Yeah. So what happens if you don't have a tent or an RV? Well, they have cabins. I, they rent cabins as well. I believe they have eight of them in the campground. That site has electric, water. I don't see a sewer. sewer. Oh, it doesn't have sewer as well? Good.
we will definitely be coming back to this campground with the Dewmobile and we will do a more thorough video on the sights and the loops. So this is the 200. So that one right there is 231. Site number 231. Let's go to the bathrooms. So this place has got grills and pavilions, shuffleboard. And just to let you guys know, there's no grills where we're staying at. So That's bring right. your own grill. If you're in the between the which is inlet sites, they don't have grills, but the other ones do. And remember, only water only where we're at. That's right. All right, so they got five washers and one dryer. And they're token based. So you just gotta go to your camp store and get your tokens. That's pretty clean in here. Yeah. All right, so no, while no one is in here, I wanted to show you really quickly the shower facilities. So they close every day from 11 to 12, it looks like. These are also, they have a handicap accessible one here that you can just roll your wheelchair in. And that's a pretty good size. They have a little seat there and hooks for you to put your, your bags and a little shelf. Then they have two regular ones, which also, by the way, have handrails, which is also good. <laughs> Sink. One handicap accessible toilet. This is very clean. We've been to many places and this is a clean one. Two rather regular stalls. And this is the restroom slash shower house slash laundry facility. Looks like they got a group fire pit right there. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty nice. nice. Hmm. And they sell firewood I showed them in yeah, the camp that's store. Very nice. All right, let's go check out. Also, I want to say real quick. What? They do have Wi-Fi. Oh yes, Wi-Fi. And he did say it was spotty. Haven't and haven't tested the Wi-Fi out, but they also said if you want to just do regular things, email and stuff like that, really not too secure as far as banking and stuff like yeah. that. So be careful. Don't do any of that type. Don't of stuff. do any banking or any high security stuff. If you want to just on their Wi-Fi the or something like that, you might be okay. Yeah. Also, it's an extra charge if you want to stream movies. He they, said. Good point. Someone might want to stream movies. We have. Uh, we always bring DVDs and stuff with us, and we usually don't watch too much TV anyway while we're gone, except when it gets later, later in the night. Shall we walk down that path? What site is this? This one is 351. Looks like it's got sewer too. Yep, that's full hookup. Oh, this must oh, be the access the to the beach. Yeah, let's go out the back and see. And I noticed that their cabins are spread out too. They're not like generalized. In yeah, like area. the fort. Yeah. Looks like they got air conditioning. Yeah, they have uh, bathrooms too, I believe. Yeah. Pretty nice. Electric. So really we haven't walked too far and it looks like this might be access to the beach. Also, uh, they allow golf carts. I yes. haven't seen any, but that's pretty good since we can bring the Doomobile up here. Doomobile will be in action. That's not even a bad walk. No, it's not bad at it's all. It's like, 
You could bring your chairs and a cooler. Wow, look how blue that is. I don't know if the way out there. That up, but... Wow, they actually got somebody on duty, lifeguard. There's a pier where you can go fishing. Red flag. A couple people on the beach down there. It's beautiful. Wow, it is beautiful. Here is site number 324, and that looks like it's not bad. I know some of these cabins got two grills. Oh yeah, extra grills. So this is, looks like the 100 loop. There's your other restroom. Yep. 107, that's a nice one. And I like how you could go forward. You can still see all the cruises, the cruise yeah. ships and stuff from that one. Oh, so it looks like we're getting into the tent loops back here. Yep, because this is where they park. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tent. The sign behind us says tent area. See. That's very nice. That's pretty good space between these. Yeah. I mean, they're not crowded in like some of them KOAs we've been to. Yep. Site 113. I think there's pretty good distance between this, this one and that one. Like yeah, probably is water and electric. And it has a grill. So, so far the only ones I've seen that do not have grills are 1 through 23. So make sure you bring yourself a grill if you're going to be staying in 1 through 23 and you plan on grilling because there are no grills on those sites that's site number 40 for camping these are really nice this is site 39 All right, the wind might be a little much here, but they also have a playground for everyone to enjoy, a pretty big one too. So this here on the end is site number 12, and it's right by the road, but nobody could park next to them, and then nobody could park on the other side of us either.
All right, guys, so once again, this is site number 23. It does have a picnic table and water only. No other hookups at all. They do not have a grill and they do not have a fire ring for you to have a fire. But look at our site. Now, once again, we wanted to show you right across the water is Kennedy Space Center. And I believe that that's Patrick Air Force Base on the left of Kennedy Space Center. There was supposed to be a rocket launch while we were there, but unfortunately it got rescheduled. So maybe we'll be able to see it next time. So if you're looking for somewhere to just sit back and relax, whether it be on the jetty watching the boats go in and out or at the beach, this is definitely your campground if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle. I honestly have so much footage of the time lapses at the beach, as well as time lapses of the boats and the ships going in and out of the jetty, that I'm going to make an entire video of Jetty Park Campground time lapses. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you keep watching because that video will be coming soon. Let's talk about it. Okay, so for me, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, our coach, let me explain oh, one thing. Did I get my glasses? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're without <laughs> your glasses. Our coach is not set up really for dry camping. Nope. And we've had coaches set up for dry camping, which is perfectly fine. For me, I need some circulation through the RV. So I also don't want to run the generator in dry camping areas. Only when very we need rarely, to. Yeah. Very rarely do I use the generator at all, uh, just for the peace and quiet, because that's basically what you're here yeah, for. Yeah, like listen. Don't hear anything. No? Nice and quiet. Nice. So last night, I had the window open on the back side here, and I was perfectly fine. Uh, it, nice breeze now i'm not sure what what it's like during the summer here we're gonna have to come back I don't in the know summer if you get the breeze at night i i'm sure maybe you do off the ocean uh as far as the site we're at we're at site number 23 and i'm sitting on a picnic table the coach is behind us and i'm looking out right now at the disney dream and the carnival cruise line right here right on the corner that's true we walked this uh the campground for a little bit mm -hmm. and even though they do have full hookups which I like to have if we can only if because possible. in Florida we got to have AC and I can't sleep I can't sleep in a muggy area that's one thing I I, I love to have but like I said the wind the, the cool air and everything here was perfectly fine anyway what I'm about to say about the whole situation is is that even though I like hookups down here in Florida, I would definitely compromise to be at this site and not have any hookups but water. And we haven't even used the water. We haven't even hooked up I yet. I use my onboard water uh, for now, but 
we could hook up the water. We'll hook up today to take showers because we had enough in the tanks for yep. yesterday. Yeah. So as far as, you know, you got your free dump station, so you'd have to leave the site if you're here for a, distant, a long amount of time. Uh, we don't have too much holding water. We have 55 gallons in ours, which is pretty decent yeah. for the Class C. With all that said, I would definitely camp here versus camping in the full hookup. That's right. Because I would just too. the views, just the, 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 this corner area, the picnic table is right on the corner, the rig's here, and right there is all the ships that go out so and of course nassau is right across from us i mean you can't beat it Kennedy i love space it space center right yeah. there yeah so that's my thoughts i i enjoyed it i definitely enjoy sitting out with my chair right on the corner there and just watching activity with my mountain dew in my hand and that, i'm totally that's awesome for me so what about you all right so what i like about the campground is it is very clean and when i say very clean like within the campground where the other sites are as well as this one through 23 you don't see litter anywhere it's we've already seen people cleaning up like emptying the trash already i've seen it twice already yeah me too um it's a short walk to the beach i love the beach so this morning i got up early went out about 6 30 because the sunrise was at seven it was overcast, so I didn't get that great of a sunrise um, time lapse, but you will see that in this video. The beaches are super clean. Like I've seen some dirty beaches, like as far as like a lot of seaweed and and just like down in the Keys, yeah. some of those beaches. Yeah. And this, the sand, even though we're on the same uh, coast, yeah. we live on the same coast, the sand is a lot nicer here. Ours is more like the uh, coarse. Yeah, it's more coarse. Yeah, it's hotter on your feet. It don't brush off you as easy as this stuff here. Uh, compatible to Sarasota sand, I would call yeah, it. Yeah, the west coast of and Florida. I really like that. And also, it's a good place for just as far as being outdoors, as far as being getting exercise. We see people all the time riding their bikes on the beach, riding their bikes uh, because around the, here, the sand's that way. Yeah, you're so you activities. can go on the pier. And it's, you can go fishing on the pier. You could go fishing. You could fish here. Although if you fish off the jetty, they said you need a license, but not off the pier. Yeah, you don't need a license if you go off the pier. So a lot of people doing it. There's people. people in front of us right now doing some fishing. It's, uh, overall, we would come back. I would definitely come back, guaranteed, and I would definitely take this site right here, and uh, for a longer time. Yeah. Some of these sites where we're at right now, they are not level. That's We're lucky right. I pulled up far enough. I don't have anything under my tires or anything, and I do not have leveling jacks, which I wish. That's one thing I wish I did have because I used the heck out of them, especially in like like uh, national parks. Yes, some and of stuff the like national that. parks. Some of their sites are not level. Uh, this is definitely not level, so just keep that into consideration. If you do bring your rig, make sure you bring some sort of leveling. Uh, everybody knows that you're your refrigerator may not work at a certain angle. But other than that, ours is pretty level here. I pulled up far enough to where we're not too far out of whack. No, it's pretty good. And But I could see some of them in here where they're on a slant. And, and they do have their, up, so. their wood and stuff under their tires. Yeah, but I would definitely, definitely come back here. Yeah. What else, Jolly? What else did you like about it? Is Let's there any see. dislikes? Dislikes? Um, well, let me just say another like. Okay. I really like the fact that although we don't use it, the restrooms and the showers, when we looked, were very clean. And some of you might say, well, what does it matter if you have showers in your RV and restrooms? Mm -hmm. But maybe if you don't want to dump as often, if you're here a longer time, mm -hmm. maybe you just want to use their showers in there. Maybe you come here and you're in a pop-up or maybe you're in a tent. It's good information to know, I think, that yeah. I like that the showers... obviously, if you're in a tent, you're going to use their showers. Yeah, that the showers were very clean. And I also like the fact that the people at the front office, well, Sorry. the people at the front desk, when you checked in, were super, super, super nice, nice and helpful. Super inv informative. Yes, I like that, too, because we've been to some campgrounds when we go cross-country, and... They're not as helpful, no, but, not but as these friendly. people here were super friendly, super helpful. I even went back to ask about golf carts and what the pro the procedure or ha how that worked. They told me about that. I also asked about if you could bring a boat 
and he was happy to tell me and spaces yeah yeah and that. where you could put your boat and stuff yeah. and he was super knowledgeable and friendly on answering any questions that i had yeah so overall pretty decent even in the restaurant they were decent there this morning yeah very super nice friendly. at that little restaurant um I really don't have a. Uh, I'm trying a to bad. think of a. I'm trying to think of a, anything a negative to say. The what laundry was very, looked very clean as well. The only thing I will say is that I only saw one dryer. In there, hmm. there were like four or five washers, and there was only one dryer. So maybe that could be a con. Maybe if you're going to do laundry, and so you might have to wait in line, or wait for someone else to take their clothes out of the dryer. Because I only did see one dryer. So that would be a. A negative we're not here long enough to do laundry but yeah. if you're here long term I think you would have to wait because I only saw the one dryer so that is that could be considered a con not for us yeah. but maybe for something to you to consider as well as maybe the fact that you have to buy tokens yeah and At the store. they don't take quarters right. that might be a con to somebody that as well be. Things but, to think about. But the end result is, will we come back here? Yes. Absolutely. If, and, and hopefully in this video, we showed you a lot of informative stuff. Yeah, hopefully and, it helps you guys. And uh, only because, I will say this, I looked up this campground because just like you guys, I like to see what, try to plan out where we're going, what would be the best site that we like. <laughs> things like that and on every video on this campground i looked and nobody really specifically said if one through 23 on the jetty had barbecue grills i couldn't find the information anywhere including on their website so we the are here is no we're here to it. tell you that one through 23 bring, bring your, your own, own grill because yeah. there aren't the only thing that this one has one through 23 have our water hookups and a picnic table yeah so so basically we're going to try to do a little bit more try to get new information to you guys if you're down here in florida or if you live in florida and want to see something different but we will be doing the fort videos as absolutely. well absolutely it's we, not going anywhere it's not guys. going anywhere this is going to be in between. disney's not going anywhere mm -mm. but we'd like to do more uh camping trips we'd like to do different things okay so i went in and got my sunglasses because the sun is coming down and it feels awful nice mm -hmm. some of you may want to know how much are the campsites here so for the rustic as far as right now of course prices can change we are in february 2020 for the rustic which are the sites that have water no electric and no sewer in the summer $27 a night and in the winter 37 a night for the semi sites which are 30 amp electric water and no sewer those are 34 in the summertime and 44 in the winter time and the last one that they have which is the IMP which is electric water and sewer so that's full hookup so for the full hookup sites in the summer it's $39 and in the summer and $49 in the winter and for the cabins mm. it's $120 a night year round so as of right now those are the prices for any of you who are kind of wondering how what much it the, would be what do the cabins have included uh, so the cabins come with linens as far as the linens they have the coverlets the sheets pillows pillowcases bath and hand towels and washcloths Right. So that's pretty good. So there's uh, the prices for those of you who are wondering how much it would be to come here and camp. You have anything else to add? Yeah, I did. I did come up with a, a con. Okay. Which was very difficult for me to come up with. Yeah, and I, I agreed with him when he said that. But now that I think about it, it is a con. And that con is Wi-Fi. Even though they have it here, I'm not sure... As far as the signal strength that's in the main campground area with all the full hookups, I did see an actual uh, Wi-Fi pole there. Uh, but down here by the water, it's non-existent. I know they said it's spotty. It could be spotty. But even though it says that I joined the network, I still wasn't able to even bring up a single page. And I've tried. 
Yeah. And it's just, for us on this particular trip, it's non-existent. So mm -hmm. what I would really suggest is if you really need internet, you have to have it. I have seen people over at the uh, the actual check-in, the store. Yes. They've actually were sitting there because there is free coffee in there. I'm sure we mentioned that already. And there's like a little movie sit-down thing, but I have seen people on their computers in there. Yeah, maybe they're so, doing work or something too. They they're probably have. just going over there to do any kind of work or emails or anything like that because you're not going to be able to do it here. So have a mobile hotspot. Hopefully something out here will work. We don't have one, but that's right for us to tell you if it works out here or not. But I'm sure it would. But that's sure a good point. Work, that's but. a good point for people to know. Yeah. So if we were stuck here doing videos and uploading, we would most definitely have to have some sort of hot spot or, or walk over there to because the I, store. I really think it is probably even at best it's probably even weak Wi-Fi once you're over there good enough what the guy did say is good enough for like emails and stuff like that yeah uh, there was no an personal. extra charge char yeah no personal stuff because it's not really secure he too said secure it, yeah. for that it's your basic no Wi-Fi and also he said if you're doing any streaming also he said that it's an extra charge which i don't even know how that's possible to stream anything <laughs> i don't know what if they have a big switch back here to boost up wi-fi <laughs> but i'm not even getting a single page out here so uh maybe i have to pay extra for just a little bit more uh yeah. own file here so anyway that's my that's my one of my cons the yeah. only one that i can think of mm -hmm. yeah all right, guys, with that being said, we hope you enjoyed this little tour of Jetty Park Campground. That's we right. We did, and we'll yes. definitely be coming back. And maybe, you never know, we might see you right here at Jetty Park. You think so? At the campground. Ooh, never know. Maybe. Never know where we're going to be. Take care, guys. We'll <laughs> All right. see you. Bye. Bye.